Andrew, we can tell you the ACLU has pointed out that the uh, percentage of African Americans among police recruits hired over recent years has been as low as three and four percent, though 26 percent of the city's population is African American. Of the last batch of recruits hired, only two out of the 36 were African American. This settlement of the lawsuit means all sides will be working together to make change instead of the dispute coming to trial. The city and ACLU could have battled for years in court over racial disparities in police hiring. Instead, they're standing side by side. Today's a historic day for the city of Pittsburgh. The city's police and newly hired recruits have long fallen short of representing the city's 26% African American population. This settlement of a 2012 ACLU lawsuit means all sides will work together with an independent expert to fix it. This case and this settlement is not about changing or lowering the standards for anyone. It is about making sure that the standards are applied equally to everyone. A bureau that has integrity, a bureau that is professional, and a bureau that is diverse can be attained if we work together. Racial disparities can contribute to tension between police and community. We can obviously point to the past, which has not been glorious. But we can point to a future that will be much improved. Pittsburgh will pay $1.6 million over two years to settle with plaintiffs and the ACLU. We're not promising that everything's going to be fixed in the next couple of months. This is going to take a long time because we want to make sure that things go right. It will actually take months for city council and then a judge to approve the settlement. Implementing all the changes that the independent consultant will be putting together could take two to three years. Reporting live downtown, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.